is very heavy. But please join me with a prayer. Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. We just heard 63 different names our twin sibling we lost this year. When reading the scripture today, book of Daniel, sometimes remind me of some of the sci-fi fictions I read or the sci-fi movie or TV show I watch on TV. It's so unreal. Daniel, he's a Jewish person, but he was given another name by a Babylonian king by force. He was took to the palace to serve the king by force. And also with his other three friends, also Jewish people, they were forced to serve the king together. And although Daniel, Daniel, Daniel and his friends were captured by the Babylonian king, they insist not to comply with the eating regulations they were asked to follow. And Daniel, Daniel started to interpret King's dreams because God had given him the vision and wisdom during this difficult time. Daniel's three friends did not comply with a mandatory worshiping code to worship a golden image made by the king. They were thrown into the furnace that was heated up seven times more than was customary. But they survived. The king was shocked and now they were unburned and unharmed. The king believed that a divine was with them. People also set up a plot against Daniel and threw him into the den of lions. But Daniel was unharmed. God sent the messengers to shut the lion's mouth. Daniel also claimed, because I was found blameless before God and also before you, O king, I have done no wrong. The biblical scripture today, Michael, the great princess, the protector of God's people, is one of Daniel's visions. God's messenger, Michael, is one of the vital figures to Daniel and Daniel's friend and who, to whom live in uncertain time and with those people who might surround you but they are very brutal to you. They are the people who receive this image, the image and the messenger from God. Michael delivered an important message that whoever is found written in the book should be delivered. Those who sleep in the dust of earth should awake and woke up, and some will have an everlasting life. Reading the book of Daniel during Transgender Day of Remembrance and Transgender Awareness Week, I cannot help connecting Daniel's story and our transgender sibling story experience together especially after these crazy presidential elections and what we are facing today. When we talk about transgender issues, not only about pronouns and the bathrooms issues, but also those uneducated medical professionals, inaccessible mental health care, and our trans, trans, uh, our trans siblings is existence being constantly ignored by others, and experience loss of homelessness, difficulty assessing legal documents with correct names and gender, and the violence against them, surgery costs, and the long waiting list for gender clinics, fewer job opportunity and security. When our trans siblings encounter those challenges, can they see in the vision that a divine, a friend is with them in the burning fire? 
A friend is with them in the den of lions. Where they see a vision that a help from the divine showed up in front of them, although they were surrounded by lots of challenges. Where they see a vision that people standing by them showed a support and standing solidarity with them. Will they see those things in the vision? Some of us here today are Daniel. Some of here today are friends of Daniel, or the friends of Dorothy. We, United Church of High Park, are honored to know that we are trusted by our transsymboling. They share their world with us. We are part of their world today. And today we are doing here on the Transgender Day of Remembrance with a candlelight service. We remember those trans symboling we lost as people of faith. We see the vision. We might find ourselves resonating with the God's messenger's work. We will declare those who suffered their name in the book we have read today that they shall be delivered. As long as we remember their names and their stories, they shall walk, they shall wake up, not only in our hearts, but also in our hard work together toward a just world for all. Let us pray. God of Daniel and all people of faith, we know that throughout all we experience, you are with us. Today, we take time to honor and uplift the lives of our transgender siblings who have passed away. We hold those who suffer violence, discrimination, and prejudice in our hearts. We remember and honor the lives they live with courage and resilience. May their memories be a blessing and a call to action. Grant us the strength to stand in solidarity with transgender community and all who face oppressions to be advocates in their struggle for acceptance, equality, and safety. May we confront prejudice and ignorance with understanding and compassion, committing ourselves to justice in their names. Amen.